Hi kids! How are you all? Teacher Tasha here and I hope everyone is doing well and fine at home. Honestly, I miss seeing all of your faces at GCC. I miss GCC so much. Do you? I just hope all of this comes to an end so that I can see all of your beautiful faces again and we can have fun in GCC all over again. Alright, so what are we going to learn in today's lesson? We are going to continue with lesson 9 of the Lord's Prayer. But before we begin for our lesson for today, let's commit this time to God and let's pray. Okay? Now, close your eyes and bow your heads. Lord, Thank you so much, Lord, for a beautiful day you have given to us. I pray that whatever that I am going to teach all of these beautiful children today comes from your word and your word only. Lord, I just want to say thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to sit in front of our laptop or our phones to tune in for today's lesson. All of this will not be will not be able to happen if it wasn't because of your blessings. All of this I pray in Jesus' most precious name and all of children say Amen. Alright, so we are almost coming to the end of our lesson on the Lord's Prayer. But before we continue with today's lesson, let's recite the Lord's Prayer together. Do you all remember? I hope everyone remembers. Alright, if you remember, let's recite it together, okay? Count of three. Three, two, one. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us for our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. Now, I am confident that all of you have perfectly recited the Lord's Prayer. Now, what is today's lesson all about? Hmm, hey, found something. There's a writing on it. Now, now I understand the words may be the wrong side, written the wrong side for you, but the camera's fault, okay? <laughs> Okay, so what is this word? It is temptation. T E M P T A T I O N. Now, why is this word very important? Because the next part of the Lord's Prayer goes like this And don't let us yield to temptation and rescue us from the evil one. Okay, wait, hold on. I hope your ears are open wide and you got your thinking cap on, okay? Because today's lesson is going to be very important, but there's a lot of thinking required, okay? Alright, first things first. What does God mean when he says, and don't let us yield to temptation. What does yield mean? Well, the meaning of yield is lead. So you know when you be a group leader for a school activity, you will make sure your, you lead your group into winning, right? So, what is the prayer trying to tell us when he, when he said, And don't let us yield to temptation. Now, what does yield mean? 
the meaning of yield is hmm, let's see a perfect word that is related to yield is lead you know what's the meaning of lead right you know when you are a football captain you are a leader to the group right and you encourage them and you always push them and motivate them telling them it's okay we can do this and if we work in a team so that is the meaning of wheel it also means to lead now what about temptation hmm. you may ask is temptation sin is temptation me being naughty no but temptation does lead you to sin why is that so now that sounds confusing right it's not sin but it can lead us to sin <laughs> okay i'm going to give you a perfect example okay example your parents told you to not go out of the school compound but you always see your friends going out of the school compound to go to the shops that is available outside of your school and every time you see your friends come back they always got so much of goodies like sweets and kropo and biscuits but you are not allowed to go to the shops because your mommy and daddy already warned you to not go out for your safety then one day a thought or a temptation comes to your head and it tells you hmm i want to go outside but then my mommy and daddy will scold me but then it looks so fun outside what to do so what do you do you step out of the school compound into the outside pavement but you stay there you are near the school gate so that when your mommy comes back to fetch you you run inside school but you're not going to the shop means you're not technically disobeying your mommy but actually the thing about it the thought of even stepping out of school even though you're not going to the shops is already something bad and you're already disobeying your mommy and daddy so yes not only little children like you get tempted even grown-ups like me and all your other GCC teachers and even your mommy and daddy get tempted once in a while with things that they know they are not supposed to do but their minds are telling them it's okay if you do it so if we follow these temptations and we end up doing something wrong like doing something naughty that may upset our parents or our friends or anything that is what we call a sin and that is why we ask God to not yield to temptation because that means we are letting sin into our life if we allow temptation to lead that's what i said right yield means lead to lead us into sinning and what is sin when we sin we upset who yes we upset god like i said temptation on its own is not a bad thing but if you act on it then it's a very bad thing did you know i got a secret right for you that jesus christ 
was tempted by the devil? Teacher, teacher, you may be lying, teacher. No, no. How can Jesus Christ be tempted by the devil? Well, yes. If you don't believe me, take your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. That is Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. So, to summarize the story of Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11, it says that Jesus Christ went into fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Imagine Jesus Christ didn't eat or drink anything for 40 days and 40 nights. You can fast for 40 days and 40 nights. Because I know teacher cannot teach the food a lot. So, Jesus was so thirsty and hungry. So, the very smart devil thought, Hmm, since Jesus, the Son of God, is hungry and thirsty, let's tempt him into going against and disobeying his father. So, Satan, the devil, gave Jesus Christ three temptations. Now, what are those three temptations? Number one, he knew Jesus was hungry. So, he told Jesus, Turn those rocks into bread. Since you're hungry, there you go, bread. But Jesus just stood still and said, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And the devil's like, hmm, okay, okay. He's hungry, but he didn't accept the bread. Let's go for better temptation. Temptation number two. This and Satan brought him to the highest cliff and showed him the whole city of Jerusalem. Now, the cliff is very high. If you fall, mm, not a good idea. So, Satan told Jesus Christ, If you are the Son of God, drop and ask his angels to come and save you. Since you are the son of God. Then Jesus responded with a stern voice. The scripture also said, You must not test the Lord your God. The devil's like, Wow, this one also he's not tempted. <laughs> I must give him the best temptation I can think of. Now this one, he cannot disagree. Satan brought him to the highest mountain in the city and he showed him the whole kingdom. He showed him Jerusalem, showed him all the other kingdoms of the land. Satan told him, Jesus, you can be the ruler of this entire land. You only need to do one thing, and one thing only. Kneel down and worship me. Jesus Christ just looked at Satan and said, Huh, worship you? Get out of here, Satan. For the scripture said, You must worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. The devil's like, I cannot, he cannot be tempted anymore. So the devil ran away and the angels came down and took care of Jesus, fed him and gave him water. Wow, Jesus Christ managed to stand up for himself from all of Satan's tricks and all of his temptation. But how? Hmm. Did you realize when I was telling you the story, every time when Satan was trying to tempt him, Jesus Christ always said this sentence, 
for the scripture said blah 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 so he quoted the bible and as we know the bible is the word from god so means he is quoting what the father has already said in the holy book of the bible so since jesus knew the bible inside and out that actually helped him to think straight and to ignore all of satan's temptations now you may ask me teacher is temptation something from god is god give us temptation hmm all right now i'm going to show you a verse to actually answer your question now i hope everyone has their bibles because we're going to play a game all right okay now take out your bibles okay whatever your bibles is it can be your phone bible it can be your physical bible any bible okay now go go take it all right i hope you have your bibles now turn to james chapter 1 verses 12 to 14 now what is it again James chapter 1 verses 12 to 14 okay you can read it on your own but those who do not have a bible on their own for their own sorry you can read the verse from here okay so the verse goes like this God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation afterwards they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him and remember when you are being tempted do not say god is tempting me remember god never tempts you to do anything wrong he always advises you to do the right thing because he doesn't want his children to be sinner he wants his children to be good boys and girls so where does all this temptation come from well all of these temptations actually comes from our own inner desires that is why whenever we see something that we cannot do because our mommy and daddy said cannot inside we feel like we want to do it because that is how our human desire feels but remember do not give in into this temptation all right because once we sin we upset god and we wouldn't want to upset god right now i've got a question for you What are some temptations that you have faced in your life? Okay, you can think of the answers and you can tell either your siblings or your mommy and daddy or if you want, you can keep it, write it down in your book and once GCC opens, you can come and show me, okay? I would love to read it, okay? And I would love to listen to what you have to share with me. Now, you have already listed the, all of the temptations that you have faced, right? Now, don't be sad, okay? All of us face temptations. But every time when a temptation comes to your mind, stay strong and say no to it, okay? Because God made all of you strong. Maybe you may be young. But you are strong, and you can say no to temptation and no to sin. Read that. Even when there are times when we feel we cannot get rid of the temptation, sit down and pray to God. Tell God, God, there's so many temptations in my head, and. I don't know whether I'm strong enough to say no. 
please give me the strength to say no because I do not want to sin against you God and God will bless you with strength to get rid of all of this temptation we can always pray talk to God and even read the Bible to learn what Jesus wants us to do when it comes to all of this temptation and what he wants us to do when it comes to our journey with God our Father alright that is all for the lesson today I hope all of you understand and enjoy the lesson if you do not understand you can always message the teacher or any of the GCC teachers or you can ask your mommy and daddy okay Alright, I had so much fun teaching you all today and I hope you had fun learning from me. I will see you all soon, okay? Have a great day ahead. Bye!